what you guys got another video here for you will your pc run windows 11 quite a few people in our discord server were talking about windows 11 and whether it'll work on their system uh, some of them don't have tpm uh, 2.0 and some of these people have tried and it's not working so i'm going to show you exactly basically what you need to do to check whether your pc is going to be working with windows 11 when it's released now there is some information that microsoft have now finally released to the general public Again, this is uh, fresh off the press. So as you can see here on their website, you can see it does tell you the minimum specs of their system. You can run the uh, check for compatibility app on your system and run this to see whether your system is uh, compatible with the latest and greatest from Microsoft. So once you install this software here, you can run a check and it will tell you whether your system is capable. Now you may get an error code popping up and this is because uh, TPM.2.0 is not uh, enabled on your system, and I'll show you how to do that. But as you can see here, all you need to do here is basically click on the check now, and you will see this PC can't run Windows 11. TPM uh, 2.0 is requirement for running Windows 11. What does that all mean? Uh, you can check to see whether it's enabled in the BIOS. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video. But first, let's go over the minimum specs that are required to run Windows 11 in 2021. You can see here, one gigahertz processor is going to be required. And also, you can see down here, it must be compatible with 64-bit processors. Memory is four gigabytes of memory. I would suggest you get a little bit more than four gigabytes because it's not going to run very well. Minimum, I would say, of six to eight gigabytes. Again, storage, 64 gigabytes or larger capacity. Uh, system firmware needs to be UEFI and secure boot uh, compatible. And you can see here TPM, Trusted Platform Modular uh, version 2.0, needs to be uh, compatible on that system. So the motherboard must support that as well. Uh, graphics card needs to be DirectX 12 compatible, which most people will have one of those. And pretty much you can see here Microsoft account and internet connectivity required to set up Windows 11 Home. Now on that website, I'll leave the link in the video description. Uh, will I be able to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10? And if your existing Windows 10 PC is running the most current version of Windows 10 and it meets their minimum hardware requirements and specifications, you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. So it is a free upgrade. You can also activate Windows 11 with a Windows 10 license. And that's because you'll be able to get a free upgrade from it. So both of, both of those questions should be answered right there. So it is going to be a free upgrade. But also another thing that I wanted to point out is the fact that you can still buy probably a Windows uh, 11 license when they become available to the general public, which again will be at a cost. Some of you have been asking, can I stay with Windows 10? Yes, you can. You've got until... 2025 to stay with windows 10 until that reaches its end of life so basically you can use it right up until that point until they cease any sort of support or updates to windows 10 so if you want to stay with windows 10 you can do up until 2025 so let's take a look at how we can enable tpm 2.0 so go into settings here go into update and security and then once you're in here go to the recovery section and once you're inside here, you want to go to advanced startup options here. So click restart now. And this will basically restart into the advanced startup options. So it does take a bit of time to so be patient. And then you should be presented with some options. So choose an option. We're going to go to troubleshoot here. And once we get here, we're going to go to advanced options. Now over on the right hand side, UEFI firmware, click on this one and click restart. This will bring you into your BIOS. Once you're inside your BIOS, you can then uh, take a look inside the settings here. And what you want to do is go to security. Inside here, you'll see trusted uh, computing. So click on this one here, and you should now see security device support, and it should say disabled, and that's why you're getting the error message. So once you enable this feature, this will enable the TPM which is for the uh, CPU that I've got on here, which is an AMD. If you're running Intel, you'll need to enable it in your BIOS. But your BIOS may look slightly different to this one, but basically you just need to enable uh, TPM. 
click F10 and say yes to save and then reboot the system back to your desktop. Now, once you go and install uh, Windows 11, once it's been released, if you want to do a fresh install, that will need to be enabled for you to be able to install it to stop you getting an error code. So what does this mean for you, the consumer who wants to use Windows 11? Well, Microsoft is saying if your system is four years old or older, then Microsoft thinks that your PC shouldn't run Windows 11. Now, I have found a, a big, massive list of uh, Intel and AMD supported uh, processors for Windows 11. I'm not going to go through them all. There is a massive list here and it's growing by the minute because people are adding more processors that work with Windows 11 and Microsoft are adding those in. So there's a massive big list here. So I'll leave the links in the video description for you guys so you can check it out to see whether your CPU is supported uh, for that feature and to see whether you'll be able to install uh, Windows 11 or upgrade to Windows 11 when it's released to the general public, which is important for you because obviously that means you don't have to go out and buy a brand new computer. So if your system is not supported, then what does that mean to you? Well, that means you're going to have to use Windows 10 up until uh, 2025 and then possibly upgrade your PC to a new PC with Windows 11 on it or build yourself a new PC or you can use another operating system like Linux or something along those lines and continue to use your older PC. And that's basically it. Microsoft are ceasing support for Windows 10 in 2025. So eventually you will be forced to roll out to a newer generation of uh, operating system, which will be Windows 11, which means you will need to upgrade your system. Of course, this is all uh, early doors yet for uh, this operating system. And this is what Microsoft are claiming on their website. I'll leave the links for all this information in the video description for you so you can check it out and read it at your own leisure. Now, for some reason, you can't find that setting in your BIOS, then you can check to see where it's in Device Manager. Now, if it's enabled, it will be visible inside here, as you can see here. Inside Security Devices, you should see Trusted Platform Module 2.0 if it's enabled. If it's not enabled, it won't be visible there, but you should be able to see it, and that means your system is good enough for Windows 11. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this one. Hope this one helps you out on system requirements for Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Remember, you can always join our Discord. If you've got any questions, we'll be happy to help you out over there. It's free to join. Link is in the video description. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.